Hey guys, this is Ron. So you guys wanted me to do a altar, show you my altar. I'm going to show you a few of the ones I have in my house. I have a lot. I'm addicted. Um, this is my specific Carnunas space. This is strictly for me. Um, it's very masculine, very male on purpose. It's on my dresser in my bedroom. Um, this particular statue um, has a story behind it. I don't know who sent it. Um, I just know it's the one I wanted and um, I freaking received it in the mail. That's no lie. I don't know uh, how it got here. Um, it's been cleansed. It's been consecrated uh, so that only his energy is abdued in it. Um, so let me give you a little tour of this specific altar. I am a huge fan of antique stores and thrift stores. So this candlestick back here really spoke to me um, in a old English kind of Celtic way. Um, there is a penis. Once again, this is a very male altar. Um, those orbs were gifts from friends. The red is obviously a... Um, color of the god this skull and horns were a gift from padrick my friend padrick the wizard who has strengthened my uh, bond with carnunas and more ways than he can ever know uh staghorn um a collection of horned beasts uh that little one right here is the one that in the story I told you I got for free that particular day after I dedicated myself to him that had the sticker on it. There are a couple of crystals back there that I used to work with him. That lamp doesn't really have any specific purpose other than it's a lamp I need on my dressing table. It's elephants. We've had it for a long time, and um, it is an element of the earth, uh, a representation of the element of earth and light. Um, I have, being a farm owner, a farmer, uh, I have a lot of animals, so death is always a part of our place. So is birth, both stages of life. So you're going to see a lot of animal parts on my altars. Uh, they're, they're used in workings. They're used for the element of earth, the element of spirit. Um, these all died naturally, um, and they were all uh, consecrated and, and placed for a purpose. Um a lot of little gifts that I find, little rocks. Um, you'll see all my jewelry that I wear on a regular basis is also on this altar. Um, so that it's always constantly charged with his energy. Um, I told you that one of my main aspects of working with him was the masculine aspect, the divine masculine aspect, the very male aspect. Um, that's what I want to enrich in my life, in my spirit, and in my physical body. Um, so I, everything I adorn myself with on a day-to-day -day basis is charged with his energy. This is a wand that I use. Um, I, have a, I have 15 acres, so I'm, I have access to a lot of natural uh, items. This is a fig wand. Um, and I like a fig. It's a fruit tree. It produces in great abundance. If you've ever seen a fig, it manifests a lot. The one thing I like about a fig is that it's hollow. So in that, uh, I can clean that out and I can deposit herbs, any kind of bodily fluid, semen, blood, anything that I need to that I'm working, a particular working for. And when I um, have felt that this wand no longer serves me, I take it and dispose of it in nature. Uh, usually in a fire, um, because I, I do use them in that way. If any of you guys want a fig wand, let me know. I harvest in the fall and let them cure over the winter and uh, use them for spring. Uh, once again, this is my personal altar. I'll try to see if I can get it clearer. Um, and uh, this is where I have all my private time with him. This is where I do my personal petitions. That candle back there is a new petition uh, that I am working with him on. Um, it's a very warm place. It's a very safe place to me. Uh, I am extremely connected to him here. That ram that you see in the back 
is in honor of a special friend who I started working with last year. Um, and I keep, I went to a thrift store with him on my mind and he's in Aries and it was the first thing I saw in the store. So it's on my altar in honor of him with the specific purpose of Kernunas watching over him and sending him his energy and keeping him uh, close to him. This is my ancestor altar. This is where I do all my work with ancestors. Um, I have my mother here. My great grandparents, my father, Jim's mother, uh, a letter from Jim's ex, well not ex, his, his husband that passed on, a lamp that was Jim's mother, and you'll notice quite an eclectic pantheon on this altar. Um, the crosses were gifts from friends, but they also reflect my uh, Christian background and Jim's Christian background. On that one cross, you'll see a, a locket that was my great grandmother's. Um, the Egyptian pieces, uh, Jim and I have both had an, an, a, a huge um, admiration for the Egyptian culture all our lives. And so uh, some of these were pieces that he had, and then some are pieces that we acquired. So back over here, the alligator god, this is also in our guest room. So when my niece comes over, or our niece, uh, this is the altar that she has started to walk her pagan walk on. And Sobek was, is her choice of um, deity to work with at the moment. You'll see some little gifts from her uh, over here for him. Um, she's picked out some of the crystals that you see there. Uh, all of the spirit here is designed for healing and protection. Uh, you'll see Mary there from our past. Um, water bowl, offering bowl. Um, these little cats that you'll see, um, I have just about everywhere. Everywhere I go <laughs> around here, I see one. And when I see one, I have to get it and put it on an altar. I just think that curled up warm little kitty is just amazing. And I have them everywhere. Uh, incense burner, bells. Uh, ancestors are always with us. They are in us. They are our DNA. Uh, we're never apart from our ancestors. Um, when people ask me how to start working with ancestors, one of the easiest things I tell them to do is just talk. Um, they are part of you. I use bells at this altar because they're always with us when they know that I specifically want to do work. Um, it brings me into focus. All my work starts with a, a bell or a vibration of sorts. This is a mini altar that is devoted strictly to Hecate. Um, I will work with the Archangel Zadkiel on this altar from time to time when I'm doing a working. Uh, that is one of my scrying balls there. Um, a gift from my friend David in Wisconsin, that little witch. Um, this vase was just a white vase I forgot for a dollar at the thrift store. It's three angels, but I painted it a matte black and uh, have devoted it to, consecrated it and devoted it to the goddess Hecate. So I use this altar when I am doing a specific working with her. This pace, space on my hearth is one that I set up. This is strictly for Kernunas. This is when I have a special intention. I need extra protection from my home. Something is going on where I need an extra boost of his energy. Um, I don't have anything going on right now. I just lit it up for you. Um, here, once again, I have to say, I know a lot of people that are followers of Kanunas are strict, um, earth energy only, no man-made items, no plastic, no, especially no metal, no anything. Um, 
that was one of the reasons why the brotherhood that I was uh, petitioned to initiate into um, did not go through. I, um, like I told you before, I am solitary. I'm solitary by location. That is not going to change anytime in the immediate future. So I do what works for me. I honor him as best I can. And I believe that the deities speak to us through what is beautiful to us and meaningful to us. I, I don't believe he is offended in any way that I have resin sculptures on my altar or things that are man-made. Um, I have a, I'm in the process of doing a, uh, some altar pieces for a circle, a permanent circle outside. So I will show you those when I have them. And those will be strictly nature made. Um, just because I'm trying to keep that circle as much about the earth and the earth energy as I can. Uh, but once again, this is for specific workings to him, for specific people, for extra things that I need an extra boost of, um, maleness and God energy for. Uh, this is strictly when I petition just him and um, work that way. This is the main shared altar. This is in my living room. Uh, you see the goddess and the God both represented here and Mother Gaia in the middle. With everything that's been going on in the last couple of years, I keep her centered um, there's always a healing candle for Gaia on the altar. Um, this is in my main living room, like I said. So anyone that comes to my home has access to this altar. They want to make a prayer, an intention. Uh, it's always open to that. I do most of my working here, but to be honest, most of the workings I do are done in my kitchen, not here at the altar. Um, the goddess there, which in our home is represented by Jim's major deity, um, Epona, or Rhiannon, one of her faces. There she is with her three birds. Uh, before I found a Cronuna statue I liked, I did use this hern in place. And so he represents the male on this particular altar. And there are just lots of little gifts there. Um, once again, things that we found, things that we were gifted, that little, uh, pa antique powder box has salt in it. There's a wasp mask. There were a lot more feathers in that, um, uh, <laughs> piece back there, but Tula got them. Um, this is a selenite bow with some crystals, a selenite, uh, stone. This is Jim's witch bowl that was given to him by his niece. Uh, he uses that for workings a fan um, for saging. That rattle is one that I use when I do cleanses. There are a couple of malas there, wrist malas that I got from Arthur's store. Uh, once again, Green Man Studios. Um, and then just other things that I've, you know, picked up. Um, my Tibetan bowl for when I do work, my incense collection. A lot of tarot is stored around there. Um, once again, a lot of bones. You'll see some owl uh, legs there. Uh, I do live in the country, and so, not to be crass, but roadkill is always something I have here. So when I come across a hawk or an owl um, or something of, of great importance to me, that animal is brought and consecrated and gifted back to the earth, and then parts of that animal are used in work. Pentagram. And that's the little porch I do my readings on. In case one, all of you know, ask, that's uh, the porch is where I've been doing most of the videos. So I'll end again with um, another video of my altar uh, since this channel is dedicated to him. Um, I hope that uh, it has inspired you to do something with yours or start one. I know a lot of you that are watching my channel right now are new to all of this. And uh, start with one piece. It doesn't have to be anything and it doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to have one. But for me, when you've got a space that is sacred to you um, and 
focuses your energy and your intentions, it just makes everything stronger and better. And um, so, this is my Carnutus altar. Uh, love and light to all of you. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.